Hello, JB. This is Mike Richards. Thanks for sending your swing on the Golf Digest Challenge. Um, Setup-wise and grip, you don't look too bad right here. Um, so let's kind of keep that going right there. What I want to do is kind of crawl inside your mind a little bit and find out where you think the power comes from in your golf swing. What I see in your swing, it looks like you're putting a lot of lower body into your golf swing. And we're not really getting that club to do the right job. Backswing wise, I think you do a nice job up to the top of your swing. Probably a little excessive head movement right there to your left side. Excuse me, your right, my left. Maybe your head could stay a little bit more stationary, especially with an iron. So to me, you've got a little too much movement back. As far as the left arm and the, the extension and the, and the hinge of the wrist, I think that's awesome. As you come down into it, just watch your lower body first off. I think that's really nice right there. I like the way you've got your weight loaded to your left side, your right leg staying pretty good there, but now it just kind of gives up. And you see both feet spin and move and have way too much sliding of that right foot. Watch your right foot, watch your left foot. Right about through here you start seeing a big slide with your right. Now watch your left foot, how it kind of rotates out. So it's not really hitting against anything, it just spins. So you're really lost some power because you're not hitting against anything. You brace it on the right side in your backswing, you need that same support on the left side and you just give it up by spinning that foot out, your left foot that is. Now in doing that, let me show you, I know it's kind of hard to see because of your camera, but what I don't like about this from this point is what this is all doing. I don't like what those arms are doing. I don't see a good release here. What I see is kind of a chicken wingish look to a flip, and I think you'll see a much better release when I'm doing Brad Faxon here. You see how his arms rotate over right there? And the elbow folds, but it folds downward. Your elbow, if you will, is getting a, a kind of a wing out right here. So again, you can kind of get some blockers out to the right. The reason why your lower body might be a little active is you're trying to find power. But I can promise you, if we can get this to work differently, like Faxon's does, we don't need all this motion down here in your body. I know you sent me two, so it doesn't really matter which swing we look at. They might be the same swing, I don't know, but you see the same thing happening. So what I would do with you is, JB, is I would make your head a little bit more stationary in your backswing. I'd make your legs and feet really stationary. And how would I would do that? I would take a stick, a pole, and I'd put it right on the outside of this foot, straight up, so when you go through, you can't crash into that. You can see how you've crashed into that thing. And then you can't spin that foot out there on it. So I'm going to keep your legs a little bit more underneath you, and I'm going to have you hit little half partial shots. And from here, I'm going to have you work on my little release. Now I want you to see how, again, the club corks down, strikes the ball, and the arms rotate over. And that's what I'd have you do. So, JB, good luck with that. Work on that, if you will. You want to send some more photos in, go right ahead. Glad to look at it again. Thanks for sending your swing to the Golf Digest Challenge, and good luck.